place to stay. Build a house in the woods. You find it safe. It's small. The light comes in. Then you say that it has a fire within her. Sketch the trees and a path underneath for those who leave. And I am a lover and a friend to you, a part of your palette, a shade of blue. This is George. Granddad Doc lends them a new blue car. It has a lot of different buttons. One of the buttons folds to the roof down. Oh dear, it's starting to rain. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so Alexa's favorite place in the whole world is a bookstore now. She literally drags us here because there's so much fun information and of course the Peppa books because she loves Peppa Pig and there's like the whole section of Peppa Pig <laughs> and Sophie the plane came down toward her and landed up oh. didn't finish it you wanna read this one? Playground. Okay, let's play. Leafy at the playground. Yeah. So you got to decide what you want. You got to decide what you want. Leafy at the playground. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, can we go home now? I can't go home. You don't want to go home? Yeah, let's pick two books, Alexa, and we can go home. You want that one? Which one is that? We don't have a CD player on it, so. <laughs> Is that a CD player book? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. We don't have a CD player at home, Here we <laughs> so I really wanted to vlog this weekend and this morning we rushed out of the house and I forgot to take our Canon vlogging camera that I've been using lately so I'm actually now vlogging on the new iPhone and the quality is pretty good what do you think? I think it's, I, I recommend it I think it's as good as the Canon I'm kind of loving it and it's so wide obviously I'm just holding my phone in my hands as opposed to like a massive DSLR camera because that's what I've been using to vlog lately but I'm not even sure if the quality is worth it that much anyways I, I think it is I'll probably switch when I go home anyways but yes it's a Saturday morning we already had breakfast and now we're just hanging out at the bookstore with Alexa probably will head home soon can we go home now why not do you want to stay at the bookstore? Yes. What do you want to do at the bookstore? I want to read Peppa. You want to Peppa? You want to read Peppa? She thinks Peppa lives in the bookstore. We have Peppa books. We discovered these cute little books. They're so thin and small. They actually look bigger on the camera. And they're about this bunny called Miffy. These are great to take with you on the go. And then I think we're going to get the sticker book because they're really great when we're out and about to yeah. keep it like so like busy. Stickers? Yes, I like stickers. I like stickers. Where's the checkout? You gonna go pay, pay for it? Where's the checkout, Alexa? There ya. Show me where. There ya. Okay, let's go you pay. Go. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you have to go from the other side, Alexa. Take the sticker book from the other side, come. Oh, wow. I want to go home. So you want to go home now? Good, finally. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> you want to take a black cab? Alex, 
I want to catch a black cab. cab. How do you catch a cab? You find it safe, it's small. The light comes in. Then you say that it has a fire within her. Now I'm headed to the farmer's market, which is not the best time to go to farmer's market. I think it's like 11.30 and the best time to go to farmer's market is 9 in the morning or even earlier. I think they open at 8.30, but we'll see. Hopefully they have some apples because I want to bake an apple pie either today or tomorrow and I need some good organic apples for that. Oh, is it two different? Which ones are better for apple pie? Uh, the big one, these ones. These this ones? Would be nice one. Okay, I'll grab those just for eating, and then these ones for baking. Nice. So these are organic and biodynamic, which is even better than organic. It's about 4 p.m. and I'm trying to get out of the house one more time just for a little walk in the gardens but sometimes it takes a while to get out of the house because Alexa is like let's eat this I want water I want to have a snack I want to paint I want to do something so sometimes we end up just not even going anywhere what you what I need to buy butter. I need to put balloons in my birthday party. Your birthday party? Oh, she asks me all the time to listen to her birthday party because I sometimes let her listen to things like, well, not sometimes, all the time. I let her listen to, to songs, ABCD songs, Peppa Pig. Um, and now she realized she can listen to our vlogs. So sometimes -G -G. she'll tell me. E F G H I K L M N O P P. <laughs> Check this out. This garden is so magical. All times of the year, but especially in fall time. We found a place to stay. Hey! What have you got in there? Go read. She brought the book with her. <laughs> Let's go read on the bench. Then you say that it has a Munchkin. And she found a stick. Where are you going? It's so beautiful. You got a leaf. There's so many pretty ones. This is my favorite tree. Look at all these colors. And I love that they don't clean up the leaves. A part of your palette. A shade of Should we just blend this first and then add more? Should we put all of this first? Yes. Okay, thank you. 
I have the best helper in the world. I'm gonna blend this first and then add more, okay? Thank you, Alexa. Okay, are you ready? Is that good? That's <laughs> good. Okay. You just put the pulp inside. So this is if you don't have a juice. Yeah, a very long process, but if you really want to do it, there is always a way. Alex is already waiting. Are you waiting? It's my company. You want me to squeeze in your cup? Yeah. Okay, it's coming. So some of the juice already came out. And the rest. You gave so I could be free. Can we do juice, my love? Can we do cheers before you drink? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. So good today. It tastes very nice because you helped me. Thank you for helping. Mm. Try it, let me know what you think. Is it nice today? I think it turned out very nice today. Good. Good. To good health. You finished? <laughs> you are finished. I can see that. You want more? Yeah. Are you sure? I guess you're just going to do this. I want. Papa, come! No! Papa, come! Mama, come! Mommy, come! Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> That's a fast slide. I guess I have to go down too. Oh, the things you do for your child. Ooh. It's like a trampoline. Where are you going? I'm in the tunnel. You're going the tunnel. Let's go together. Nice. I love this little square. Oh, let's jump here. So this is my favorite time of the year in Hyde Park. It is so magical in here. And it lasts usually a few weeks. So anytime from, I would say, mid-end of October to mid-end of November. What are you doing? Is that your suitcase? I'm traveling. 
She found some kind of a leaf and she's pretending that it's her suitcase. Yeah, it's just magical. because I just think it's so much easier to film on the iPhone. So you guys let me know what you think of the difference in the quality because this morning we were filming with a big camera and I'm gonna attempt to make the apple pie. The reason why I say attempt is because I just realized I don't have uh, enough for the flour, like to make the crust. I have just maybe one cup, but I'm gonna pull my mom. And when I say my mom is that she's the most creative cook chef baker is that she always kind of takes a recipe and does her own thing I th i'm gonna try to mix this glu this gluten-free flour from Mama, what's she doing? i'm making an apple pie are you gonna help me yeah yay so i'm gonna use this uh, one cup of probably the bob's red milk for the crust and then i'm gonna use some coconut flakes for the crust what? and i'm gonna use some coconut flour oh, i have no good. clue how it's gonna turn out but it should turn out fine uh, we, we shall see. Okay, I'm gonna put the recipe in the info box so you guys don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you're gonna need some apples. I'm using these organic biodynamic apples that I got yesterday. Um, coconut sugar instead of regular sugar. Some cinnamon. I realize I still don't have nutmeg. Um, coconut flour, coconut flakes, gluten-free Bob's Red Mill flour. And my sous chef Alexa who looks very bored. <laughs> Are you ready to help me? Yes. Okay, good. okay, so we're blending all the flowers. <laughs> the experiment has started. You want a picture of the apple? Okay, I'll take a picture of <laughs> There's even better, there's a video of you and the apple. <laughs> and then a pinch of sea salt. Okay, great. I'll follow my own directions. One egg. So the crust is almost ready. Um, another secret to the crust is that I added some oat milk to it, but you can also add just ice water instead of oat milk. I added about three tablespoons and now um, it is the perfect water. consistency. It's quite What's soft. What's ice water? What's ice water? It's really cold water. Are you ready to make the crust? Yes. Okay. Like that. Are your hands clean? <laughs> okay. I guess. And then just spread it out nice and evenly. Does it help the crust? You just go with your fingers like this. Remember how last week you helped me when we were making the pumpkin pie? And now it's time to slice the apples. Alexa, what are you doing? <laughs> Alexa, wait, wait, wait. We have to slice them first. <laughs> She's the best. Alright, so now that we have the sliced apples, we're going to add the coconut sugar. Alexa, what are you doing? Are you eating the apples? Yes, Daddy. You're eating on the job. Can you help me add the coconut sugar? And then we're gonna add one tablespoon of the cinnamon. If you do have the nutmeg, you can add that as well. Alexa, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Good, yes. Yeah. So I have about one cup, maybe a little over a cup there. Okay. You can take the spoon now and mix everything together. <laughs> I think everything is out now. That's coconut sugar that you added. Okay, can you mix, can you stir everything together? <laughs> I'll hold the plate for you, or the bowl. <laughs> Are you eating the apples again? We're not gonna have enough apples. Okay, I gotta stop this <laughs> before she eats all the apples. <laughs> So you're stirring with the left hand and eating with the right hand. That's the way to do it. <laughs> All right, one tablespoon of cinnamon and then continue stirring everything, trying to film and stir at the same time. So basically all the apples have to be very well coated. 
like that. And then we're actually going to cook the apples slightly. <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> You're stealing my apples. <laughs> so I have now transferred the apples to the pan and I'm going to cook them for just a few minutes before they get really soft. oven so I had I came across a bit of an issue is that one of the apples was actually a bit too soft but that's why I was a little short on the apples but I made it work one thing to keep in mind when you're baking or cooking it's not always perfect but at the end result is usually pretty good so just go for it mm. okay it's gonna go in the oven and it's gonna bake for about an hour at about 180 what? Celsius 15 minutes about 15 minutes that's crazy. 180 Celsius or I'll put the Fahrenheit okay. in the info box so here's the finished apple pie. I just took it out of the oven, so it's cooling down, but I let it sit there uh, for about 10 minutes, so I didn't right away took it out. Also, it only took about 40 minutes to for the pie to look like it was ready. So um, depending on how strong your oven is or not, <laughs> you might have to just watch the crust. You wanna see that the crust is nice and golden, so that's when you know it's ready, because the apples were already pre-cooked anyways. Can't wait to try this. Mama, she caught it. You want to cut what? Yes, sure. The apple pie. Apple pie. Is it your first apple pie, Alexa? Yes, I think it's her first apple pie, actually. Is it her first apple pie? Yes, I think it is. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, it's pretty nice crust. Completely improvised, guys. I do have my mom's gene. <laughs> Creative gene. Thank you, mommy. If it's not just the gene, it's just observing the parent. She was never afraid to try new recipes. Okay, now let's see how this is going to cut. It's a bit scary because they're so... I don't know if there's any particular order you have to cut them. But, Alexa, you're going to get the first slice, okay? Okay. Oh, okay. It's a bit tricky to hold. Here you go. <laughs> I love how she just goes for it. You want to lift it up? So? What do you think? Very nice. Very nice? Did you actually try it? Lift it up with two hands. <laughs> it is a That's little complicated to eat unless you're using a fork. Yeah. Alright, so I'll give you guys my honest opinion. Mm. Mm. It's a bit more crumbly than the crust I did last week, which had just one blend of gluten-free flour. Mm. But I love the way it tastes. Mm. We're missing ice cream. Mm, mm, mm. The apples are delicious and soft and just sweet enough. Like the coconut sugar or the coconut nectar is just perfect to substitute regular sugar. This is getting really messy. It's really good. It hits the right spot. Mm. But like Alex said, a vanilla ice cream would be really nice. Yeah. A nice coconut milk vanilla ice cream. Mm. So we are having some, guess what it is, rooibos tea, vanilla rooibos tea with oat milk. And we decided to keep the apple pie for tomorrow because <laughs> it tastes better apparently. And well, it's, it's too I, late to I, have, I, I think, I think apple pie. I think it's some ice cream with it, to be honest with you. Okay, then you're responsible for finding some nice, <laughs> healthy gonna, if ice If you cream. heat it up, put a scoop of ice cream on top, that's what's gonna make it. Okay, I'll share it with you tomorrow. Yeah. I love you guys. It's good to make the eye contact. Mm. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were going to say something like philosophical. <laughs> Usually, I, 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 <laughs> I, I was telling me like, you vlog, but there wasn't really anything like, I guess it's just us having our weekend. It's just us having our <laughs> weekend. <laughs> I feel like before my vlogs maybe were slightly different. Now when I'm vlogging, I literally, that's why I probably don't vlog as it's much either. It's like, I don't have fun. much time because I already think so much like, okay, what is Alexa gonna eat? What is she gonna... You know, my thoughts are always preoccupied with her as the priority of like being fed and dressed and, you know, did she poop, did she pee? All these things that you think about as a parent. I don't think as much of like, 
conceptualize the, the yeah, vlog. Yeah, I don't conceptualize the vlog well, that's, as much. That's what I say. It's which, my style. Yeah, which I think a lot of you guys actually prefer. I wonder if you actually do, because yeah, before I would always have like an internal theme when I would vlog, whereas now it's more like random, more random, and even more real. I would say not that the other vlogs more in real, but I always like to have a sense of subject around it, whereas now it's kind of like. This is as real as it gets. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up because I don't want this vlog to be like super long. Yeah, but, but actually, just... if you want it to be super long, something that Mimi and I are talking about is about starting yes. a podcast. So please comment down below if you like a podcast where, where it's just... Maybe we should ask them to vote on the name or the... Okay, name. cool. So we, okay, so we have ideas of the name for the podcast. So we are gonna be doing a podcast. We've already decided like months Together. ago. It's just about now, like, um, doing the logistics properly so we know the times of when we record and that we're consistent with it. Obviously, that's the most important thing is consistency with whatever you create. So, we have two possible names. Three, no? Three? I think it was three. Yeah. I, I feel like the third one wasn't I, an option, like but it, we but... can mention it anyway. So, okay, first one? First one, I don't even remember the third Alex one. Alex and... Alex and Mimi Show is the first one. The second one is the dream life with Alex and Mimi. With Alex and Mimi, because I believe that everything we ever talk about and share with you guys kind of has to do with creating the dream life. Because we have been able to create a dream life, and we always want to share and help other people create the same for themselves. And it doesn't have to look like our dream life; it just has your to be own. like your own. And what was the third one again? The icon show. Oh yeah, and the icon show, which I, I don't connect with that one as much, but of course it could be, it's a good name. Yeah, then it's like, it doesn't have to be me or you, it's it can, it's like unisex, so sometimes you can do it, I can do it. But I feel like the dream life, we could be the same. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so what do you guys think? Which out of the three do you like the most? Let us know in the comments below. We're gonna finish drinking our tea and head to bed probably, it's like 11. Yeah, sleep. No, it's 10, 10 20. Oh, not bad. And in case you're wondering what we're eating, it's like this very healthy Snickers bar from. Rock Cow. Where's Juice this Baby. place? From Juice Baby. If you're in London, check I out like Juice it. Babe. It reminds me of Snickers. It's a really, really, really decadent dessert. <laughs> okay, love you guys. See you. Bye. Hey.